10 off of a fresh vanilla VPS installation over at your last host. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing you'll need to do is log into the VPS management uh, control panel. You'll get an email for this uh, sent to your email address it's in your welcome email. So just click the link and uh, log in using the credentials provided. Uh, I'm already in. Um, once you're in, you'll see your VPS. You just click manage. Um, so here we're managing uh, the VPS, VPN tutorial your last This is the IP. Um, and what we'll want to do is we'll want to scroll down to the bottom. And where it says ton slash tap, we want to make sure we turn that off. We'll want to turn that on here. So it'll say change ton tap settings. Um, say yes. Uh, it'll issue a little reboot for the server. Um, and then once it comes back online, um, we can SSH in. I'm already SSH'd into the server. Um, so what we'll do here is we'll grab the code from the blog post. I have it uh, copied and pasted. Copy and paste this uh, code from the blog post um, into your server. And now we have a quick installation. Uh, once you know the IP address, just make sure that the IP address down here matches the one on the VPS panel, and it does. So we'll hit enter. Uh, which protocol? Just hit one. UDP works just fine. Uh, what port do you want? Uh, 1194 works um, for these purposes. So we'll just hit enter again. Um, what DNS you want to use? Um, I'll go with Google, but it, again, doesn't really matter. Um, and finally, we can give it a name. So we'll name it uh, tutorial, like we did in the blog post. So now we'll go ahead hit uh, any key. And it, what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and install everything that we need. It'll take a minute or two to grab all the files. Um, and then from there, we'll have a VPS. Um, we'll have a configuration file. Uh, and we can download the configuration file and import it to a VPN uh, program like Viscosity. So what I'll do in the meantime while it's working on this is I'll get us open in CyberDoc. Uh, CyberDoc is just an SFTP application uh, that will let us connect to our server and start transferring files. So we'll use root and then we'll use our root password. Connect in. And what it's doing now is it's generating our uh, RSA key. <coughs> and it'll leave a file uh, in slash root. So as soon as it's done generating the key, we will be good to download the client configuration file and import it into Viscosity. By the way, just a quick plug for Viscosity. It's a great uh, VPN application, highly recommended, very easy to use, um, and you'll see just how quick it is to import our file. It, it's about nine bucks uh, for the license uh, for each computer that you're using, so it's nice and affordable as well. I'll go ahead and open Viscosity up. We'll go to viscosity preferences and we'll just drag and drop the file right in here. So it finished and we can find the file at slash root slash tutorial dot ovpn. Uh, when you log in it'll automatically put you in the slash root directory um, and here it is. So we can just put it in our download stack right here. Got the file and now it's as simple as importing it. Drag and drop. Um, one thing I like to make sure of is just that when we edit it, we go to networking. I like to make sure that we send all of the traffic um, or all the IPv4 traffic over the VPN connection. That way, uh, we know that we are uh, good to go. So now we can go to Google. What is my IP address? And it does. So looks like uh, VPS, a VPN installation is now complete. Thanks for watching, guys.